You hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Avram's daughter, in case anyone doesn't know who I am. I'm Avram's daughter. Growing up, I had imagined many things. I can assure you that my father's wedding was not one of them. But life is not always what we imagine or expect it to be. Both our families have suffered a tremendous loss that has affected each and every one of us differently. But the deep and physically painful sadness that follows the death of a parent or a spouse is something that we all have in common. Marsha, you've heard many times about how my beloved mother's death was devastating to all of us, but the void it had left in my father's life and heart is indescribable. He was alive and learned to live under his new circumstances, but his simchat chayim, his joy of life, was gone. <coughs> Things have turned around since you've entered my father's life, and we'd like to thank you for bringing back his happiness. As we read in the parasha two weeks ago, Hashem realizes after he creates Adam alone that lo tov heyot ha'adam nevado. And this is certainly true when it comes to my father. We are grateful that he found another ezel kenegdo to share the rest of his life with. Tonight, besides it being Marsha, my father's wedding, it's Zayn Cheshvan, the date on which we begin our request from Hashem for rain. Makashat Kshami. We all know the importance of rain. Life cannot exist without rain. The love that you share has brought renewed energy into your life. Geshem, rain, is mentioned twice in the tefillah. The first time is in the second bracha of Shmonesra, Birkat Mechayamitim. And the second time is in the ninth bracha, Birkat Hashanim. On Zayn Cheshvan, tonight, 15 days after Sukkot, we begin our request from Hashem for rain. Barech alenu et hashana zot ve'et kol minei tvu'ata letova ve'ten tal umatar libracha. The reason we wait till tonight to request the rain, when, it has, when we have started mentioning Mashiva Ruach Morida Gashem since Shmini Atzeret, is timing. The time for rainfall needs to be right. We wait for the last of the Olim Laregel who have made their way to Yerushalayim for Sukkot to make it home without getting wet on the way. And only then do we begin to pray for rain to actually fall. So you see, timing is everything. When planning an event, it's never good timing for everyone. For me, convenient timing would be when Ellie could also travel back with me so we could both share the fun and joy of flying for 11 hours with our five wonderful children instead of him leaving in 15 minutes. But tonight's wedding is not about me. It's about two wonderful and special people who've experienced a tremendous loss and have done their share of rainless time. Geshem has been sent their way. They have found each other, and the timing is right for beginning a new stage of life together. Geshem is also the, word, the root of the word hagshama, fulfillment. May the yearning of your hearts and expectations of this marriage be fulfilled in this union, and may you reach your hagshama as a couple together. We wish you ahava, achva, shalom vereut, ubezrat Hashem, yitgashmu kol mishalot libchem letova.